people come to this land, a place full of surprises with waterways rich in marine life. To catch a barramundi or view a crocodile is an everyday adventure along the Kimberley coast. Ben Crop and his crew board Freedom 2 at Darwin. His two sons, Dean and Adam, are with him. Other crew members are Jackie King, Nick Schlipper, Serena Delanus and Hoss Saunders. Because of the big tides, the marina has a lock system. When Freedom reaches the level of the tide outside, it's an open run to the Kimberley, 230 nautical miles away. Four hours after sunrise, Ben makes landfall at Cape Rouliers and approaches the shallow sandbar entrance to the King George River. We're running out of water. How deep is it, Ben? Uh, it's, well, it's under four, three and a half. Must be almost touching the bottom. Yeah, we've got to get between these sandbanks. Be right up here, eh? Yeah. Go nice a little bit to start, but I think. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, coming up now. Five, six. Yeah, we're in the chat. Yeah, nine, nine feet, we're right. The only way we would have missed that. Yeah, tide's dropping too, not the time to get caught. I've been here before, and I know that to the left is a creek with pools blocked off at low tide that are full of barramundi. Yeah, woohoo! Uh, wow! Nice. Woohoo! There you are. Well done. You better. How about that, Adam? Yeah. Good. That's yours. Oh, thanks. I'll share it. <laughs> <laughs> Another barrel. They're everywhere here. <coughs> here he comes. He's coming up to the surface. Got him? Hit. Every angler's dream to catch a barra, and this is only our first day. Oh, good one. There you are, didn't it? Excellent, well done. Yeah. There's a lot there. Good one. 